the other day we were out at the range filming the ballistics of some high-powered handgun ammo versus some body armor. And to be quite honest, it is the first time I had been to a public range in a long time. Now, when I say public range, it was a private range, but it was kind of like a club, so it was a public slash private. Um, it was open to the public, which you had to be a member, essentially. Uh, which a lot of ranges are that way, by the way. Uh, but this one was as well. And as I was there, I kind of didn't like being there. And I thought that was a strange feeling, so I really have kind of tried to process that over the last week or so to see, well, what is that? Because, honestly, going to the range for me is different than a lot of other people. And I'm definitely not trying to be a gun range diva here. That's not what this is about at all. I'm not just complaining about the things I hate about a range. But it's a little bit different for me. Uh, I miss the days when I had a few handguns and I would go to the range and practice a dozen times a year, so to say. And but it's different now. I don't shoot with one gun. So I have a lot of problems with going to public ranges. Number one, I'm usually testing a gun. Uh, oftentimes I'm testing a gun and it's a difficult thing to be out testing a gun when you're in the public. Sometimes I, I actually get a little nervous at times because as, if you've been to many public ranges, booths are pretty close together. Um, and I don't really know how certain things are necessarily going to go. Uh, these are oftentimes guns I've not tested. So, you know, I don't know, maybe five, six hundred times. Uh, who knows? I'd have to go back and really count how many times I've tested a gun. And it's difficult to set up cameras to test a gun, get some good footage, you know, and, and by test I mean go multiple times. And it's, it's really challenging because oftentimes it's very full, it's hard to get footage. So I then sought out to uh, some ranges that my friends had, and I, I used those for a while, but the problem with that is oftentimes you had to schedule time with them. Uh, Blue Steel, now they will let me go into their range when they're closed, but I have to have somebody there with me, and I always feel bad asking people to come in on their off days. And um, So I, you know, I drive to my own range, so I have not been in a long time to a public range, and I realize how difficult public ranges really are and how challenging they are. Now growing up the range that we went to was Lakeside Range in Jackson County. It's at uh, Lakeside Armory of all places. There's a public range there. Uh, but even with that you have to uh, go to a couple classes before you can use the range, which is great by the way. I'm not complaining about that. All ranges should be that way. Uh, but you have to go through that and then uh, there's a lot of steps. Like if you have um, you know, if you're in a certain situation, you have to have a red flag up or a green flag up, and then there's certain times where you might be in the middle of trying to get a group, but then they cease fire. Um, and I'm, I appreciate the fact that they do it that way. I feel very safe, but it's almost impossible to try to film under those conditions. Um, it's very challenging to film under those conditions. So it's just been one of those scenarios where I've just gone away from public ranges. Now, I'd love to hear everybody else's thoughts because it seems like public ranges have kind of almost become a thing that are a little more crowded than ever before, are filled with more reckless people than ever before, um, is at least what I've kind of been seeing. Uh, love to hear what you guys have been seeing in all that as well, but uh, share it because again, I just see what's around uh, Kansas City, Missouri and out in the suburbs of Missouri, of Kansas City area and uh, by the time you get out in the country, I have friends that you know just go out and shoot their backyard. But again, it's hard to do because you, you know, well, uh, you can only do it for 40 minutes because my wife can't stand the noise or, or you can only do it at this time because we're going to go to the store at this time. And I just feel like I'm putting people out. I just don't like to put people out. Um, and, uh, you know, and it's a two and a half hour drive to my range, but that's where I've been going for years because I was just reminded that and I, I'm really not sure what the point of this video is other than to say um, ranges, just public ranges, they just bring out a, a little negativity in me, um, a little bit of, uh, I don't want to say fear, but a little anxiety, so to say, um, or a little um, concern maybe is a better word. And I never was that way, and I, I, I really kind of throw it off as that I'm there filming and I have a different gun every time. Uh, but I 
I'd just be curious what it's like for you guys. If you go to public ranges, what that's like. It's been a long time for me. I was the first time, and right when I pulled up, I felt a little anxiety, and I don't know what that is. Uh, so I kind of just tried to process it and, and really just share that to see what your all's thoughts are, I guess is the point of the video. So uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Put it in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you feel called to support this channel through Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so never ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God Family and Guns, and as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.